I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This is a Dell Vostro 3400 and in this video is a Vostro 14 3000 series but the exact model is a Vostro 3400 in the model for this one. All right and in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove the RAM, add the RAM or upgrade the RAM if you want to. We have upgraded this RAM to up to 32 gig with no problem. If you want to know your maximum RAM capacity based on the uh, processor model that you got, check that link in the video description to check the maximum RAM capacity on your laptop so you can be 100% sure what's the limit that you can go on. All right, just remember by upgrading the RAM, you're not going to change anything in the system. Everything's going to be left the way it was. So yeah, just pretty much plug and play and that's it. And your files, everything is going to be left the way that you left it before. All right. To so just get it started, first thing first, power off the laptop completely. Flip it upside down. You want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. We're going to use a Phillips number one. If you get a pro set, they will include you with an opening tool, some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metal guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with all this on hand, we're going to get it started. On the bottom here, all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. You can remove all the screws except two screws, the ones in the bottom back corners. These screws, they have a little something called a C-lock on the other side of the screw that will prevent the screw coming out entirely. So pretty much these screws, all you want to do is just rotate them. You want to rotate them and then you want to see while you, and the C lock what it does it separates the case with the cover. You can see that separation right there. I'm just rotating and just that click sound that's when I know it's done. You can do this on both of them. There you go. You got here a few clicks just keep rotating until you get tired or just stop rotating. Now we're going to remove the rest of the screws and we're going to keep them in a separate pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you found my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in a comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we've almost removed all the screws, we're going to keep them in one pile. Now, you can just put up your finger there and just push it slowly and just you want to hear these tiny clips are snapping you can do this with your hand but if you find it a little hard to pull you can use a guitar pick to help it just put it in between the case and just help it out like this you can just wiggle around like that i'll make your life easier and bring it up wiggle it up and down wiggle around i will release the bottom cover and right over there we can see there's a two ram dims available in here these are a DDR4 stick. These are not DDR5 or you cannot, people keep asking me in the comments, I don't know why. Can I put a DDR5 or can I put a DDR4, DDR3? No, you can't. Every laptop, depending on their specification, it has its own. I'll leave the link for a compatible RAM. You can check those links. Now, to upgrade the RAM, you do not need to disconnect the battery. It's absolutely not necessary to disconnect the battery. But if you're really paranoid and you do want to disconnect the battery, you have to peel off this gaffer's tape over and you want to put your fingers on the side of this white jack and then you want to bring it evenly towards the battery and that's how you can disconnect it to put it back in you want to bring it evenly in front of the jack that's why i always say evenly because i heard some people put it sideways and you can create a short in there so i would suggest don't touch it that's it as long as you don't drop a a screwdriver stuff like that you'll find you can touch it with no problem i'm not even grounded or anything like that all right to remove the ram all you want to do you want to put your fingers on the side of these triggers here and here you can see these two triggers they are flexible they have to right in here once you put it like this the ram will come out in 45 degree angle and now all you want to do you want to you don't want to yank it towards the ceiling otherwise you're going to break the demo the ram you want to slide it the same 45 degree angle that you pulled it out i'm gonna do it this way as you can see i'm putting it in the same way that it came out you can see this ram has a only ram chips on one side some rams have double-sided chip it makes no difference as long as the notch in here matches the notch right on the dim 
So if I try to put it the other way around, it will not go through because the notches are not matching. If I want to put it on this side, I have to flip it over, bring it in 45 degree inside the jack, and then push it towards the motherboard, and you're going to hear these triggers automatically open and close softly. If I do not put it all the way in, I put it halfway through, I try to push it down, look, the triggers stay open, and sometimes it doesn't even go down. So, and to bring it up is really hard. So push it all the way in and then push it towards the motherboard and then you're gonna see these triggers stay straight, all right? Always fill up the DMA and then fill up DMB. These are, uh, this is an eight gig, you can put an eight gig and an eight gig or you can keep this eight gig and add a an, uh, 16 gig in here. It will add and you will still have a dual channel memory. Dual channel is much better than having a single DIMM with a higher capacity. It's always preferably to have two of them. So if you grab, Another one in here, I have another one with 4 gig, you can put this one in here, grab this one, doesn't matter if one is has chip side upward and this one downward like this, just put it right there and that's it. This is for demonstration, I'm not upgrading actually, that's how you upgrade, you can put a 16 gig, 16 gig and that will be fine. Once you upgrade the RAM, if you have unplugged the battery, plug it back in and grab the bottom cover, put it right on top. Push the corner front, make sure you work on a flat, oh, my keyboard fell off. You work on a flat surface, push the side, you want to hit those clicks and don't push the corners, put the back mid. And then all you want to do, you want to tighten up these screws and tighten up the other one and it's going to pull the cover to itself. Just remember, uh, tip for you guys, you don't have to put the bottom power to power it on, you can just put it on a flat surface that there's no conductive anything on top and power it on to see if it powers. If you upgrade the RAM, it might take five up to 30 seconds for it to show anything on the screen because it's gonna do something called a MEM check. If after 30 seconds, you don't still get anything on the screen, no their logo or anything like that, you wanna power it off and you wanna switch the RAM places. Put the old one on the right and the new one on the left, just switch the places and then turn it on and it will do a MEM check. Sometimes for the bias to do a MEM check, you have to force it by removing both of them and switching in the places. And that works for many people, even if it works for us sometimes. All right. I hope you guys like this video and I helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. And this is how you upgrade your Dell Vostro 3400 model. I'm just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws.